so they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Again, he'll drop to throw. High throw, but the catch is made. And the Commanders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Tell you what, partner, the way he's been slinging it in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. Let's go now. 60 Bison, 60 Bison. They'll look to throw again. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this touchdown from four yards out. And the Commanders look poised to reach 17-0 as they add on to their lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary, a clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Lutz with the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Uh, Houston's offense taking over again. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. Just too much to handle on the other side in this one. Throwing to start the drive. Devlin. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Looking to throw on second down. Devlin. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. Well, I wish his staff luck as they try to find positives about this performance by their offense as we move through the early part of the fourth quarter. That sack, the latest example. Down by a boatload, this offense simply can't keep up, and the quarterback is still taking hits. I'd get the backups in there if it were me. The offense on third down, they've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This is third and eight. Back to throw. Devlin, they'll set up the screen here to Akers. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And this will be a Texans first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. Devlin, they'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets a made. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. To throw on second down, Devlin. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Back to throw, Devlin. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. It'll be a loss 
of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. And you could say that is just another cherry on top for this defense and that entire team. But really, this defense has sparked what's been an impressive effort here in this one. And notice you used the word sparked because you're not seeing that on the other side of the ball, are you? The offense right now, the spark has left their game, and it's been because of what you described, that defensive pressure. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. First and ten and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Jennings. And some room to work. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16. First and 10. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest. And they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Looking to throw. Rich, a quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw. Rich, got his man complete over the middle. That's Townsend. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I was not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Uh, he's got it. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. They'll try to run now with Jennings. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Commanders add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline, his fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. But that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. Lutz good on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. We're facing a big fourth-quarter deficit here, things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season, but in this one, well, their defense has really struggled. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Devlin, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. 
Well, have a game, sir, why don't you? A sack earlier and an exclamation point here late in the game, and this one won by his side of the ball. They played so well, surprised he didn't get a second sack earlier. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Now here's Michael Dixon. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. And Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively. We find ourselves here in the midst of a one-sided affair. A lot of a lot of fill time down the stretch, Mr. Davis. So we could talk about food because that is something that you and I we, both we enjoy. We share we, that. We enjoy our time at the table. So maybe the best steakhouses in the city, but in all seriousness, the performances that we've seen this year, we've seen a bunch of great ones. And it's going to be hard to parse who's going to win the MVP. Yeah, it really is. Uh, is it going to be a runner? Is it going to be a thrower? Can a defender finally win it this season? Those are the things that we could probably discuss. And collectively, this is about as dominant of a performance as you could have hoped for on both sides of the football. Might have to put it number one for what we've seen this season. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. This offense so far on third down, they've been really good converting seven of their 10 tries. This will be a tough third and 18. And to the 42 yard line here and brought down there. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's gonna take them to fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to the first down. Washington going to send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And the Texans will take over. Houston set to take over. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately... The second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble. But still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. And he's got this one complete to Stewart. And that'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. Looking to throw. Devlin. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. from the gun. Devlin. Ball oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. 
42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. They start the drive with Jennings. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Jennings. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Third down, Rich. They go screenplay with Jennings. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Washington going to send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget <laughs> today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going. And oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line. And this will get out of bounds at the two-yard line. Boy, they're lucky, very lucky to get this one back. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover. But I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football, you gave up the football. Mm, uh, agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll I let you a, go. I took a shot. To throw from his end zone, Devlin. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Carter. And he is out of bounds up around the 14-yard line. On first down, Devlin flushed out right. Going right side here, and that's complete. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw for both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for Washington, they make NFL history with this, their 17th win without a loss. A perfect 17-0 on the regular season. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for Houston, it will indeed be a 10-loss season as they wrap up 7-10. And, and I think you have to say, ultimately, this was a team that really underachieved. 
So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.